Hey there, this is Aral Pushpam and this video I am going to show how to create the new component. So the last video we directly updated our component HTML in the layout file. Okay. So now we are going to remove this section and we are going to create the new component. Currently my next day's application is running. You can um, find it here. It's running the local host. I'm going to stop it and I'm going to create the new component. Let's stop it. And for creating the new component, the comment like, yeah, JSS calf code and then our common name. So anyways, I'm just going to create our header common, right? Um, so let me bring the sample mockup. Yeah, this is the page we are going to build. Uh, just I'm focusing only on this left side section and then this uh, header section. Um, so building this um, is let's create the common name like uh, uh, logo common. Yeah, perfect. So this is scaffold logo um, common and then in. It will create one new file under the common folder. Let's wait. I think I got some error. Common name should start with the uppercase letter and contain only letters. Okay. Mm. Let's change the first letter to caps. Let's wait again. Here we go. Our common name is ready. And here I can find our new... Um, file logo component it looks good uh, so let's uh, remove this section and paste it into a new component okay mm. no. oh, great yeah let me remove this and paste it here okay um it's the header section and we do have some div tag but i'm not sure how the html structure going to come uh, because uh, here i can see there are two div tag has been added by this common structure itself anyways first we will deploy and we will do the testing if we don't need that then we can remove it later okay um okay now my common is ready and html ready everything ready um Actually, from my side, I'm not going to add any other uh, dynamic values now. Uh, let's go with the static value and then we can um, use the sidecore field value uh, later in the session. Mm. So, it's time to deploy our component to sidecore. So, for deploying the component, here is the command. JSS deploy component and then your component name. Our component name is loho component jsus deploy component yes then click it up now i'm getting some error okay guys i found the issue uh, the two the issue is first we created the component in next day's application and then we performed the deployment command right uh, but I tried to do it in the reverse way. So for, let me deploy the component first. This is deploy component. This time I will give the component name like Loho um, Freelance is our app name. Freelance Loho. Okay. Um, this component is not available in my Next.js application. So I am just click enter. It is created the uh, rendering parameter and then rendering 
and then the required uh, items in the site code so it is succeed right let's go to the site core and uh, check it the content it's uh, created the new application but that we can check it later um, it's not expected on um, in the layout in the rendering the project freelance next js app see here i can see the freelance logo app um yep and then let me try to create the same component in um, next js application now the comment is this is scaffold and then our component our component name is freelance logo logo here also i can see next step for new component create the component in your jss application and uh, deploy your app with new component jss deploy files and add a new component in your root item um, using experience editor okay uh, so we are just following the site core commands jss cap called freelance logo i'm creating this component now Okay, the component is created, freelance logo, and let's do the necessary changes. Just copy all the snippet from here and paste it there. See in here. V. Now my comment is ready. So as mentioned here, let's try to deploy that. But I don't think it's required because we are going to use the connected mode. So the HTML will run from uh, this next JS app only. Uh, anyways, we have to do the third step. Let's try to do this second step. Live files. See, it's uh, throwing some error. Okay, um, so the comment is already ready in site code. Let's go to the experience editor. Let's try to add the comment. And before that, we should run this application in the connected mode. Then only we can use the experience editor. Okay, let's wait until it's up. Okay, um, my, lo my local host is ready and I open the page in experience editor and I'm going to add the header component now. So for adding that, add here. Um, anyways, the new component is not available here. So for adding that, um, we have to know how they are mapping these uh, sections with these components. So in your app section in the freelancing app, Go to your presentation and available rendering here you can find all the sections there are four sections you can find it here and uh, in the media section we have only one component that is this one and in the navigation we can find two component you can find the same here so uh, for our component uh, um, it's the navigation component right so in the edit section in the rendering feature in the rendering um, project and then freelancing next step and freelance logo okay and then save uh, whenever we create the new component in the psycho side we can give the logo uh, that's the best practice so let me go here and i will add some logo um in the configure section and then logo here it's the uh, product item because it's coming from next year's app into here so just click here make it uh, editable and then icon let's give the star uh, for demo purpose i'm just giving the star but in your case you can add some um, reasonable logo um, and then uh, here 
media navigation it's not updated yet add here yeah here i can see freelancing next step okay when i directly add here it's adding one more uh, section this one i will explore later i will check how it is adding automatically then i will give more information so select and save Yeah, anyway, so we save the page, we can't see that. Uh, let me try to refresh my uh, local host. Um, let me add one more time in the different section. A place experience editor. Sorry, home page experience editor. Um, in the footer section. I will try to add it. Yeah, see here, um, now we can remove the footer section logo and um, I will uh, cut this video here. In the next video, we will see how we can read the uh, logo from the side core side. Currently, it is coming as a static value, but in future, if content author like to change any other logo here, then it should be dynamic. So, we have to work on that. I will uh, continue that in my next video. Stay tuned. Thank you.